Moments at 6 on a decision impacting thousands of families. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Brittany Miller. Two more local school districts announcing they will begin the fall semester with virtual classes. Cobb and Fulton County Schools join a slew of districts, including APS, DeKalb and Clayton County Public Schools, saying they will not have students inside of the building. The state's largest district, Gwinnett County, still remains undecided. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is in Marietta with more. Fulton County teachers quickly adopted virtual learning when the coronavirus broke out this spring. But it's the future of learning during this pandemic that's been up in the air. Superintendent Looney originally presented the school board with three plans to reopen. But now students will be heading back to the classroom virtually as he points out how the virus spread even amongst a small group of student athletes. If with groups of 20 athletes, we can't safely get together and practice and condition I'm not sure how we can foreseeably do school in a safe manner. But this internal email from the superintendent has teachers asking, what about us? We're protecting the identity of one educator who says line item one shows that teachers still have to go inside the school. That means you have 100, about 120 employees inside of a building. And even though we have some of us or most of us believe in face masks, that's not saying that everybody's going to have a face mask. Adding this creates low morale while sending a hurtful message to staff. That, yes, we may do virtual uh, school, but we still don't care because how you have to be treated. We don't care about your, your personal health or your own personal challenges of having kids, and you have to find places for your kids to go. And that was Brittany Edney reporting. Marietta City Schools also planning to start the school year with virtual instruction. The school board plans to meet tomorrow morning at 830 to talk about the back to school option. Now you can watch on Zoom, but it's limited to only 1000 participants.